Welcome back, fans. Jason Anderson alongside Johnny Rock is sitting in for Roland Alexander. Roland is vacationing overseas in Europe and Amsterdam specifically, so Johnny is filling in for him while Roland is out enjoying some much-needed vacation time. Yeah, he needs some R&R. &R. He called me up said, Johnny, you want to come sit in on Offer Wrestling TV? I said, yeah, for sure. I love to work with uh, Jason. Oh, here we go. Start off Fast and Fury here. Look at this teamwork to start it off. Venice and Marco picking up Corvus and slamming him down to the mat. Here comes the big man, Larry Black, will try to come in, but a good drop kick by Mr. Resident 4. Another great drop kick by Vesta Marco. Looks like double drop kick sends the big man out to the floor. What teamwork by Mr. Wrestling number 4 and Venice Marco to start off this match, Johnny, taking the big man down to the floor. Now, my big <laughs> look at Mr. Wrestling 4, hold, I mean, Vincent Marco holding up the sign there, 6.8 on the Richter scale. I don't know, I had to go a little higher than that. I think he needs to turn that sign upside down, make it 8.9. Check out this replay. Good teamwork, sending the big man down to the concrete. Perfect pinpoint timing on that double drop here. Matthew Thiel is irate. He did not think that his two hired guns would get embarrassed to start this match off. I'm telling you, they, they, their strategy shocked me. I really thought they would take their time, but I guess, you know, Mr. Wrestling for that ring general that he is, decided to go right up, right to it, to the big net tag team of Corvus and Larry. And fans, again, we thank you for tuning in the Gym Wars this Saturday morning, and next week, the 2010 Young Lions Cup begins. It's one of the most exciting tournaments in Northern California where we see the most exciting young prospects in wrestling today. And one of those men that will be in that tournament Corvus, he is right now down on the concrete floor. Matthew Fial giving some words of advice. Something, I don't know, so much encouragement. Matthew Fial is striking as the type of guy that pats his wrestlers on the back, John. Well, he does if they win. And then he just, he just wants to give his money. He's worth in Corvus. And then Corvus is gladly to take that money. And right now, he's going to have uh, Corvus start out, which is, I think, a smart move to do. Look, Larry Blackwell licking his wounds. Look like he injured his shoulder when he uh, took that fall out of the ring. And then uh, after that beautiful double drop kick. And Corvus and Venice starting things off in the middle of the ring here. Venice has really gotten that APW garage crowd behind him, John. It's really amazing. As you pointed out, his history in APW, not a great one with the fans or the wrestlers, but it seems like they're really getting behind Venice. It's one of the biggest stories of 2010. Venice DeMarco becoming a fan favorite here in all pro wrestling. I mean, he was voted most hated wrestler of the year about three times in a row. People just couldn't stand this guy, but, you know, they, I guess they hate Larry Blackwell just that much more. Two men here starting things off, as we pointed out, in the center of the ring. Nice forearm shot there by Corvus. Looks like uh, this Venice tried slipping away, but Corvus took advantage of that. Corvus, you know, probably the most improved wrestler from April 2009 till, till right now. You know, he's coming in uh, a lot of momentum into that Young Lions Cup. And uh, right now, Venice to Marco, look at that beautiful cross. Nice celebration there by Venice. Just cover one, two, Corvus kicks out. The thing about Vince DeMarco, he's one fantastic pro wrestler. I mean, he's one of the best when he's focused. And uh, over his career, he's been trying to take shortcuts to the top. And that's infected him, and he lost many matches going that way. I think Vince DeMarco, if he just sticks with the scientific ways of pro wrestling, I think he'll have a great, successful career back here in all pro wrestling. This wrestling four in the ring now. Corvus whoops him into the rope. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. And nice, nice little dance there by Miss Wrestling 4 after bumping Corvus down to the mat. That's that old school Iceman King Parsons butt bump from the world class days. I love seeing that move. Mr. Wrestling 4 has applied that move uh, since, you know, all the time. That's one of his trademark uh, moves he does. And, John, as you saw, Mr. Wrestling 4 circling around Corvus. He was keeping an eye on Larry Blackwell and Matthew Thiel in the corner. You think that this team, yep, roll up here. One, two. Only a two count. Do you think Miss Wrestling 4 and Venice are going to have to keep an eye on that X factor, Matthew Thiel, down the corner? Oh, yeah, you got to watch Matthew Thiel. He's known to come in with a choke, a rake in the eye, take a little cheap shot. So you got to watch uh, Matthew Thiel at all times. I think it's smart here keeping Corvus in the ring, keep the big 400 pounder outside, go to work on a much smaller opponent than uh, Corvus. Corvus sending Mr. Oh, no, Miss Wrestling 4 versus. Oh, nice arm drag there by Mr. Wrestling number four. Here's the cover. One, two, only a two count. Mr. Wrestling four was such on a roll in the end of 2009 during his uh, his long running uh, chase for the APW Worldwide Internet Championship against uh, the Bruce Messiah, uh, Timothy uh, Thatcher. And then he just got derailed when Larry Blackwell attacked him. Ooh, nice shot from the midsection there by Venice. 
Yeah, so you can throw course in the ropes. Ooh, nice elbow. That's a Marco, known for those elbows, known for the big A elbow there. He kind of comes in, connects, that's a setup for it. He went to the pin, so a little more focus, Vince and Mark. I really like what I'm seeing here. Venice locking up Corvus right now. Front headlock. Ooh, and he's taking him down to the mat. Johnny, you really got to give Venice and this wrestling for the advantage when it comes to the mat work in this match. Oh, yeah, they're both scientific masters of the game. Mr. Wrestling Ford, probably quite the best mat worker in the wrestling in the business here. He, uh, you know, the best of Mark is not, not too uh, bad from behind, you know. He's really good. Like, he's right up there and when he's focused. Fans saw that graphic. Our main event coming up after this match. Malachi takes on Jekyll's suggestion for the APW Universal Heavyweight title. Nice teamwork here. Oh, nice suplex. Now we saw a double double drop in earlier now, a double suplex. What a great team of Vince DeMarco and Mr. Wrestling Room 4. Oh, and look at that, Johnny. Just as we're talking about the teamwork between Mr. Wrestling 4 and Vince DeMarco, Larry Blackwell comes in for the save. Larry Blackwell picked on his feet for the 400 pounder, came in, broke up that count. Mr. Russian Ford driving his forehead into that left shoulder of Corvus. And now he's keeping Corvus down with massive headbutts. And he, Corvus taking, taking another one with a head. Mr. Russian Ford keeping up. Oh! And Corvus just ran right into that. He tried to, he tried to retreat, but ran right into that ring post. That'll definitely get Corvus woken up. Now Mr. Russian Ford keeping him in the corner. Nice shot there. Referee telling Mr. Wrestling Ford to watch that close fist. Trying to send Corvus in the corner. Corvus reverses. Oh, oh and Mr. Wrestling Ford eats some turnbuckle. Corvus got great momentum on that, that on that whip into the corner. Mr. Wrestling Ford went face first. Oh, look at him. That pain on Mr. Wrestling Ford's face. You can see it through that mask and grimacing there. He took that right in the upper chest area, almost close to the throat. Nice momentum changer there for the team, of course, and Larry Blackwell getting the much needed tag to the mountain from Stone Mountain. Giving Corvus a break here. Now, Larry Blackwell using his strength. Oh, what a shot. Larry Blackwell. You know, he's had, he hasn't been pinned yet in uh, all four wrestling since his return. He's been dominating people. And uh, he's been on a roll since his return in APW. And I think Matthew Thiel that extra edit edge for him. That's right. Matthew Thiel has promised to take the mountain back to the top of the mountain here in APW. A lot of people forget, John, this man held the internet title and heavyweight title at the same time. Yes, he did. You know, he took some time off from the ring, you know, to kind of recover some, some injuries. And uh, he's come back and he wants to hold both the APW Universal Championship and the Worldwide Internet Championship again. And I think he can do it. Oh, just crushing all that weight down on Mr. Wrestling number four. Now Corvus back in the ring here. Ooh, nice shot to the back to Miss Wrestling number four. Did you see Matthew Thiel just smiling? Because remember, this all started when Matthew Thiel wanted to sign Mr. Wrestling for into a contract. He wanted to manage the most popular wrestler here in all pro wrestling. He thought he was going to be a ticket to the top. And then Mr. Wrestling Ford trimmed it down time after time after time. And finally, Thiel just had enough and he came in with the big guns and there we go. 